On location in Canton, Ohio, the birthplace of pro football and one of the hubs of the USFL in 2023. Right here in downtown Canton is a concrete monument dedicated to the founding of the American Football League in 1959. But did you know this was not the original AFL? In fact, the American Football League that was founded in 1959 was actually the fourth league to be called the AFL. Today we're going to take a look at the very first league and that means that we are going to go way back. The first one dates all the way back to 1926 and has a connection to the NFL as well. The original AFL starts with this man, Red Grange. Grange was a star football player in the NFL in 1925 and helped legitimize the young league. His agent was C.C. Pyle, sometimes referred to as Cash and Carry Pyle. In December of 1925, Pyle asked the NFL to place a team in New York. Problem was, the New York Giants were already there. The NFL said no, so Pyle created the first American Football League with his client, superstar Red Grange, as the halfback of the New York Yankees football team. The nine-team American Football League really did go head-to-head -head against the NFL in 1926, placing franchises in other NFL markets for a single year. The Brooklyn Horsemen tried to compete with the NFL's Brooklyn Lions, but eventually merged with the NFL Lions after just four games. The Chicago Bulls Not that one. This one. They signed a deal to play at Comiskey Park where the NFL Cardinals played and forced that NFL team to relocate to a smaller stadium. The Bulls were one of the few successful AFL teams because they were one of the four that was still playing at the end of the season. The Cleveland Panthers featured players from the NFL's Cleveland Bulldogs, but poor attendance forced the team to leave the AFL during the season. The LA Wildcats were owned by Pyle and Grange, and they were a traveling team. The Newark Bears folded during the season, playing their final game, a scoreless tie, in front of 400 fans, and for some reason, they changed their name to the Demons for that final game. Pyle and Grange's Yankees dominated the league and the ticket sales. The Yankees went 10-5 and, and actually became part of the NFL the following year. The Philadelphia Quakers were the AFL champions, and their glory was fleeting, as the franchise folded when the AFL did at the end of the season. The Rock Island Independents, despite the name, well, they were a charter member of the NFL and joined the AFL in that league's one year of existence. The team played three games at home before finishing off as a traveling team. The Boston Bulldogs started off with financial problems and problems finding the end zone. The Bulldogs only scored three points per game, none in its only two home games, and then the Bulldogs folded six games into the season. Finances were tough for both the AFL and the NFL. The battles for players and ticket sales forced the AFL to fold and the NFL to close shop on 11 of its 22 teams after the 1926 season. Two more American Football Leagues kicked off after that, one in 1936 and 1937, and then another in 1940 and 1941. But apparently, the fourth time was the charm as the AFL, the one that has the monument here in Canton, Ohio, it kicked off in 1960.